This is Josh. This is Brett. This is Jay Tyler. I'm Jordan. I'm Andy Carter. And we're hanging out with Rob from Front Row Live. And I'm hanging here backstage with Half Alive. You guys just finished your set. Um, I was hoping to see the same performance that I would see on your videos online. Like I was hoping to feel that same vibe and you guys sure did that. Um, so talk to me about, first of all, the importance of, of this kind of festival. All 98 is, this is like the second time that they do this festival. So how important is it for you to perform here in a hometown show? I think it's really cool, especially being from Long Beach, like listening to 98.7 my whole life. So it's, it's pretty cool to like be here, like in such an area that I'm familiar with. Yeah. I think it's pretty special. So, you know, it's cool that you guys incorporate dance moves or choreography into your music. Um, you know, what's the importance of the dance um, choreography and how did you guys come about with the choreography? I think a lot of the moves are based around Josh's body and what he looks good doing and just trying to continue the overall vibe of the music into the choreography. I think there's like a mutual respect between what the three of them do and what the, both of us do. So just combining that is just a lot of fun. How do the two of you kind of like make it happen each time? Usually uh, we'll meet a little bit beforehand and create a couple of the moves. Um, and then we just get into the studio with Josh and the boys and just really spend hours playing around. And the music informs the dance and the dance informs some of the music. And it all just collaborates in this artistic amalgamation. Uh, yeah. So you guys are ready to drop the debut album. Uh, in a couple of weeks, uh, less than a week actually, um, talk to me about the creative process behind this album and you know, why, you know, what made you guys feel like it's time for that debut album? I feel like a lot of artists wait nowadays to do that. Oh man, the, the creative process behind the album is sensational. We, um, we kind of left the uh, LA area and completely just went into different environments to really put out these songs. Um, the timing is, uh, we just felt was right. We had kind of taken our time on the first EP and definitely took our time releasing the next single, Still Feel. And um, we kind of already were building up a repertoire of songs that um, we were very excited to start sharing with the world. And this year, you know, we went to the studio with some of our most favorite and um, respected and trusted and just exciting producers to work with. And um, we just created something that we're really proud and um, excited to share. I feel like because you guys incorporate like these this choreography into your music, I feel like you think about that in the writing process. So is that safe to say that you guys already think about the, the, the dance moves? Yeah, I think sometimes one informs the other. Like there's there's a particular song that's on this upcoming record where we knew that Jaw had a dance piece that we wanted to incorporate. And so we're like, I wonder if this could, like it doesn't take over the whole thing, but it's like, I wonder if this could inform it a little bit and, and sort of be, inspire us to write that kind of song. Right. So, you know, take me into the studio, like, how did you guys challenge yourselves this time around for this debut album? I think some of the challenges were getting in spaces that literally didn't allow for certain, like, for instance, what Brett was saying, we'd go to, like, different Airbnbs to write, and some were like, you can't be this loud or you get kicked out of this Airbnb. So we're like, no drums, mouth percussion, or these other things that, like, are quieter, but then limits really inspire, I think, a lot for us as songwriters. So we put limits on certain songs, and then those limits either forced or just our choices inspired what the songs kind of turned into. Also lyrically we will sometimes start with a subject matter that's like might be a little more difficult to write into such as the song Trust or even uh, Breakfast. We kind of had a topic and it's like alright let's just go and then we'll both all just bring a bunch of lyrics and kind of sift through and uh, make sure we really challenge ourselves to kind of make sure we raise the level and that we're really nailing what we sought to say. So the fact that this is your RCA debut like did that add pressure to the writing process? Yes and no. I mean, it's our first time doing a full length, so it's we don't have anything to compare it with. So it's not like we released a record before this. So yes, uh, like a little more pressure just because it has to be. We want it to be good, you know. But um, also just like enjoying the whole process. So is it safe to say that basically every song on the record has some kind of choreography, some kind of dance move to it, or is it just certain songs that you guys do that to? Only certain songs, only the ones that like really step out as that. Yeah. So you guys, I've also like been releasing a lot of videos lately, and I feel like you guys go all out with all your videos. What's the creative process behind that? For the videos, it, it sometimes just starts with like, like I, I sort of head up the, the director's role most of the time in the, in the band, and so sometimes it's just like the imagination running, and sometimes it's all three of us like coming together and, and putting something together. And that's what it's been before, and then it usually, incorporates choreography in some way just because that's become a part of our identity and so we'll we'll involve Jaw at some point and, and uh, they'll choreograph either some move like for Runaway it's 
more choreographing for a storyline base. And then for OK OK, it was uh, just like running through the forest and like doing these crazy things against a piece of glass. So it's different every time. Now, the first time that I you know, paid attention to you guys was uh, Jimmy Kimmel. Like I was, I constantly watched their stuff and then I saw their, the, the performance that you guys had for Still Feel and like that was insane. Um, did you guys have a big role in this choreography for that? And were you guys there throughout the whole process? Um, what was that process like? Because I can't, like, if you tell me that that was a one take, like, I would not believe you guys. So, you know, what was that process like? Yeah, uh, for us it was it was crazy. We were finishing up college, um, and so we were kind of trying to sneak rehearsals in between classes and stuff. But we really, um, yeah, for Kimmel it was just two rehearsals and then I think there was only three cuts in the whole video so we we all rehearsed together and just like practiced diligently and just went for it yeah Ugh. that's amazing so you guys just finished playing this you guys are on tour on heading out on tour uh, what else can, can fans expect now that you know the, the album's gonna drop in uh, on the 9th of August I think after the album drops like shortly after that is when our tour starts and that's it's going to be just as intentional as everything that we've done, like the videos and the festivals and the, um, and even like the work into the songs. I think it'll be just as intentional and just as involved. And it's only like the first time getting to this level of, of room. So it's, it's going to be exciting.